Hi guys, it's Julie from cookedbyjulie.com. Today we're making beef and shells, super cheesy and creamy and delicious. You're going to love it. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is saute your onions and cook them until nice and translucent, about three to five minutes. And then you want to stir in some fresh minced garlic and some red crushed pepper. The red crushed pepper is optional. I'm using ground beef, feel free to use sausage, veal, ground turkey, whatever you prefer. I used one pound of that. Break it up with a wooden spoon. This complete recipe along with more detail will be over on my website cookedbyjulie.com. I've been posting a bunch of recipes on my blog that don't really require videos like lots of salads and summer drinks. So make sure you sign up to my newsletter, it's free and I will email you a bunch of recipes, but no more than one per day. I won't be annoying, promise. You want to season your beef to perfection. I use granulated garlic, onion powder, paprika, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. I even like to add a splash of sriracha at times or some green chilies to give it a kick. No worries, this is not an authentic Italian dish, so relax, give everything a good mix. Go ahead and pour in some crushed tomatoes Use some good quality tomatoes, it will make or break your dish. Feel free to add some red wine here. Although this dish is mostly for kids and busy parents or just a hungry person that loves cheesy pastas, the kids will definitely love this recipe though. The alcohol will evaporate as it cooks, but it will enhance the flavor of the meat sauce. I would do about half a cup if you do use some. About 25 minutes later, this is what my meat sauce looked like. Check for seasoning. Add some kosher salt and black pepper if it needs it. Also add a pinch of sugar to balance the acidity if you'd like. Completely optional. Pour in some heavy cream if you want to make it a little creamy. I only had half and half, unfortunately, but I highly recommend using heavy cream to get that nice pink color and get it really creamy. Half and half is a little bit runnier than heavy cream. But if you only have half and half on hand just use that that's fine give everything a good mix and then we're ready to throw in our pasta i use medium size pasta shells but any type of pasta works here you can do spaghetti penne or even those little cartoon characters the kids would like those i just use these i cook the pasta according to packaging instructions and i think this is a perfect amount of sauce so it's going to look a little dry but all of the sauce is at the bottom so you just have to continue stirring and stirring until it's nice and red all over so because this is more of a kitty recipe and not authentic italian i went ahead and added some sharp cheddar cheese and some mozzarella cheese such a good combination i love it i gave it a stir popped a lid on top and I simmered it for an additional minute or so. You just want to get all of that cheese nice and melted. And you are ready to serve with some salad and garlic bread. You're going to have a magical evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want to thank you guys so much for watching.